And I'm going to just drown my custard. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start saying? <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel. We hope you had a fabulous Christmas and we really hope that you got a Crumbs and Doilies book for Christmas. You better have got one. If you don't, then put it on your list for next year. <laughs> or maybe sooner. <laughs> Why not? We know that loads of you have got them because you've been tagging us on Instagram, so keep on doing that using hashtag Crumbs and Doilies book as well as hashtag Cupcake Gemma as well. We love seeing what you guys have been baking from the book. One of our personal favourites, which has been a Crumbs and Doilies classic for a long time now. Yeah, this used to be in the shop all the time. Yeah, it's the Caramel Apple Cheesecake. It's kind of like an apple crumble, which is one of our favourite desserts. It is one of our favourite desserts, and today we're having our Crumbs and Doilies staff Christmas party. So, we needed a dessert that was Delicious, but also easy to make in mass quantities. Now, that isn't the cheesecake, <laughs> but you can uh, get that recipe in the book. Um, but we are going to make actual apple crumble because, yeah. unbelievably, we've never actually done that on the channel. I actually can't believe it because it's one of my favourite things to make all the time. It's like your go to recipe yeah. when you've got people coming around and you're like, oh no. <laughs> what, like, I haven't got anything, but I have got apples. And what, you know, yeah. you need so few ingredients. So yeah. we're going to show you how to make our apple crumble, and then later on, we're going to be making an absolute ton of. It for the many hordes of crumbs and doily stuff. Um, but don't worry, you don't have to make that much. But you can, just by multiplying <laughs> all the ingredients. So I'm going to start um, preparing my apples, getting them peeled and chopped. And Sally, you're going to make the crumble, aren't you? I am. So this is going to be a little bit more special than your regular crumble. We're going to do two toppings. So we're going to do the standard crumble topping and then also this streusel topping, which is, I know that's not how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce I it? I think it's streusel. Streusel? You can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to start with that. And this is kind of optional, but it's just going to add an extra, like, kind of extra crunch to the already crunchy crumble. So we're going to do it in a bowl. It's really super easy. And we're going to start with 45 grams of plain flour. And then into that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of demerara sugar. Now, that's the lovely crunchy stuff, along with a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and then two tablespoons of unsalted butter, which is melted, which is just going to bind it together. And we're going to do that using a fork. So we're just going to start mixing it around, combining all of the ingredients, until little nuggets start to form. So some really nice big chunks of uh, crumble going on there. Sorry, I can just hear Gemma crunching apples Sorry, in my I, <laughs> I can't resist, they're really delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so streusel topping made, and like I said, that is optional, but it is going to be really, really nice um, addition to our crumble. So now we're going to make the regular crumble topping, starting with 185 grams of plain flour, along with 40 grams of caster sugar and 25 grams of demerara sugar and a little pinch of salt. Lastly, we're going to add 120 grams of unsalted butter, which is cold and chopped into cubes. You want this to be cold throughout, so just put it in the fridge until you need it. And now we're going to do this with our hands. This is just the classic rubbing technique. So I'm going to start mixing the ingredients together with my fingers. And as I do so, I'm going to gently squish the butter so it begins to break up. And we're just going to keep on doing this. It takes a little bit of time. So that is our classic crumble topping made. It's all very fine, fine bread crummy, but with a few little chunks of butter in there as well. Now, this is really great because if you make too much of this, or if you just want to like bulk this out and make loads of it, you can store this in the freezer until you have an emergency crumble <laughs> situation going on. We've all been there. <laughs> We've all been there. So yeah, if you do want to make loads of this or you've made too much, just put it in Tupperware and put it in the freezer. Easy peasy, right. Me done. Well, I have been chopping away and I've used the mixture of Bramley apples, which are a traditional cooking apple, but I find they go a bit mushy. So I've actually also put about half of it, um, I've used pink lady apples because they just hold their shape a little bit better. And you want like six to 700 grams of that. So that's what I've got. And I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of sugar. Now it depends on how sweet your apples are. If you're using all Bramley, I'd maybe go a bit more on the sugar. Um, but if you're using super sweet ones, then it's probably sweet enough. And then also just three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then just to round things off, a pinch of cloves. That'll just give it a little bit of extra Christmassy vibes. And then just mix it all together really thoroughly. Make sure all the apples are completely coated in all those lovely spices. Right, that is thoroughly coated. Now we just need to combine forces. Yeah. Just like we always like to do here. <laughs> um, 
a lot of you think might think you need to cook your apples first, but I find it just breaks down too mm. much, so I like to just cook it all at the same time. Yeah. So we've got a baking tin here. Um, this is roughly seven by like ten inches. Yeah. Um, thereabouts. It's just about <laughs> <laughs> just about right. So just toss all your apples in. Right, your turn, Sally. <gasps> Yummy, it's looking great. So I'm just gonna start by topping it with the regular crumble topping, and we're gonna do a nice, generous coating across all of these delightful apples. It smells amazing. It does. And it smells even better now that butter's involved. I can smell <laughs> the butter. Mm. And the sugars have already started pulling out the juices from the apples. Mm. It's just such a great dessert. Apple crumble, I mean, how long did that take? Hardly any time at all. Nada. And this is so delicious. We, I mean, we do have to make a mound of this yeah, now. Yeah, we, we have to, party. to make enough for about 30 people. <laughs> And then we'll just sprinkle over our streusel topping. I love this, you know, because you get these kind of cinnamony nuggets and they're all crunchy because of the demerara. Yes. And it looks like we've just kind of covered up all that beautiful fruit. But once this is cooked, that's all going to poke through and you're going to get like it's oozy pool. Bubble Ooh. up. Oh, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. No. Oh, you go. Let's get this in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> yes, so our oven is preheated to 180 degrees C, which is fan assisted. We're going to bake it for 35 to 45 minutes. And you are going to look for like all the crumbly bits to be sort of golden and delicious and all that apple juicy stuff coming, sort of bubbling up around the edges. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. I know. I, we don't have one that we made earlier. <laughs> we actually have to wait. So it's okay because later on we're going to have about 5,000 yes. of these. So <laughs> I think we can wait. <laughs> see you later. All right. See ya. Oh my gosh, she made me wait. <laughs> I don't want to burn my mouth. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I just don't care about burning my mouth because it's the night. Don't, I do care about your mouth. Thank you. <laughs> right, it is hot. It better be, Sally. Yeah, you made it is. So long. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've left it maybe like 10 minutes and we'll let you know if that's uh, optimum cooling time. So it. Oh my goodness, mm. as I take it out, it smells so good. Yeah, that's I'm ready it. with my bowl. I want that bit there. You want this bit here? Yeah, okay. all of that gubbins. Oh, look, because the fruit Give has kind of me. kept its shape, which is exactly what you want. Like, yeah. you don't want it to just be mushy. We don't want a mushy apple. There we go. Right, let me do me some as well. Oh, oh. get that bit of apple quick, quick. Okay, okay, okay. Right, now, it's obviously delicious on its own, but personally, I think the ultimate condiment, is it a condiment? <laughs> it's not really a condiment, is it? <laughs> Accompaniment <laughs> is custard. So I made a delicious brown sugar custard. Mm. It's like a creme anglaise. I've never had this before, so I'm excited. It's really simple. So all I did was I got three egg yolks and I added 90 grams of light soft brown sugar to that, a pinch of salt and two tablespoons of corn flour. And then just using a whisk, I just whisked that up until it was quite pale um, in colour, like a few shades lighter. And then once that was lovely and pale and thick, I got in my saucepan 500 millilitres of milk and 200 grams of double cream. And then just one and a half teaspoons of good quality vanilla extract. Give that a little stir. And then I just had that on a medium heat and cooked it until it was just steaming, so not quite boiling point. So I just poured a little bit of that onto the egg mixture, whisking at the same time. And this is gonna temper the eggs so that they don't scramble. So once you've mixed that in, add a little bit more milk, whisking as you go until you have added all the milk. And then you wanna pour that back into the saucepan and then over a low medium heat, just get that cooking, stirring constantly so that it doesn't catch or scramble. And then after about eight to 10 minutes, it should start to thicken up nicely and coat the back over your spatula or spoon and then it is ready. And then just pour that into a jug, ready to serve. And now I'm going to drown my crumble with this lovely custard. I'm a big fan of putting as much custard <laughs> as possible on. Please can I have a small amount of custard? Oh yes. Because I, I'm gonna add some ice cream to mine because I think the combination of hot and cold mm. in a dessert is the best thing in the world. So I've just got some vanilla ice cream. 
Plopping that on top. I'm living the dream. I know. It's this Christmas. is my go-to for <laughs> sticky jobby pudding, but yeah. um, in this case, I just want it all warm. Right. right. Here's to not burning our mouths. Mm. Mmm. 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 Crunchy. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Is this not the best? It is the best. you've ever made. It is so good. The apples are not too sweet. They're still kind of nice and tart. Mmm. There's a little bit of cinnamon in there is making it really warm and cosy. And the crumble on its own is great, but with that streusel or streusel, mm. whatever it is, sorry guys, with that streusel topping, it just adds a little bit of extra yummy crunch. Yeah, listen to this. Mm. Should we do a whole video of that for ASMR folks? Yeah, is she crunchy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Damn, that custard. Mm. What do you think? Because you've not Hang tried on. this before. I'm going custard solo. Well, yeah, you got to try the custard solo. Ooh. I know, right? Really nice. Yeah? Just like, I don't know, sometimes I find custard just a bit like, meh, custard. That just adds like an extra little flavour, a little yeah. depth. Yummy. It's delish. Well... Happy Christmas. Well, it's already been Christmas, but happy Christmas party mm. season, guys, because everyone has their Christmas parties at work after Christmas, yeah. right? Because no, one, no one's free before Christmas. Um, I thought we should have a little celebration. Yes, this year has been absolutely epic. It is not, I don't know, at the beginning of this year, we had no idea of all the stuff that was going to happen, and we have ended up with the most awesome Crumbs and Bunnies book ever. Yes. True. And we cannot wait to celebrate with our whole team oh, hang on. after this. I'm so slippery. I'm <laughs> de slippery my bottle. Um, we actually got this bottle from Chiggs from Bake Off. He gave this to us at our go party. Go on, girl. Get so. it open. Uh, woo. Woo. <laughs> Poof. Um, so thanks, Chiggs. And here you go. Well, hang on. I'm serving myself first. That's incredibly rude. <laughs> Oh, bubbles. Right. Lovely. Little bit for you. Awesome. Little bit for me. Cheers, everyone yes, out there. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us all year with the just viewing and the book and everything else you do, all your lovely comments. Yeah, and thank support. you so much. It's been an absolutely awesome year. Hasn't we it? appreciate you. Now, yes. let's have a party. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yum. Oh, there's nothing, oh, nothing like real bubbles, is there? Real bubbles. You can nothing. rely on chicks for real bubbles, eggs Mmm. Mm. We've got more of this to make. Oh yeah. Come on, let's go, go, go. Just like it should.